Whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way and that's an actual certification course. When we got into hyperbarics, I went on a journey of trying to find which courses I should take, which classes were out there, what certification process there was, and I found a lot of limitations. Number one, as a chiropractor, uh, any, or any natural healthcare provider, there was really no opportunities for legitimate certification. Next, the majority of these classes were built on either diving medicine or wound care. And while I think both are interesting and are important to learn, uh, at the same time, it really never focused on what my needs were or what I was trying to accomplish in my practice because we primarily treat uh, off-label conditions and we primarily focus on the sort of the, the neurologic side, the inflammatory side, the chronic illness side. And so there really were absolutely no courses that involved any of that information. And so I wrote this you know, 40 hour course. Why is it 40 hours? Because there's a standard in hyperbaric medicine. The standard in hyperbaric medicine says, if you're doing an introductory to hyperbaric medicine, it has to be a 40 hour intro to hyperbaric medicine. And so I wanted this course to be just the exact same or the closest that we could make to what the standard that already existed was. And so I wrote the 40 hour hyperbaric introductory course for off-label use. And so we still cover all the same material. We cover the history. We cover the science, the gas laws. We cover all the mathematics around hyperbaric medicine and dosage. And then we cover all the mechanisms of action. We talk about the on-label indications because it's important that we understand where hyperbaric has been and why the on-label conditions are on-label. But then we spend the whole rest of the course going over off-label and going through the same process. Is this an appropriate treatment for a person with X, Y, or Z? Is, what's the criteria? What's the pathology? What's the patient selection criteria? What are the mechanisms of action that we should be, that we should be applying saying, okay, I understand your disease process. These are the issues. Hyperbaric, these are the mechanisms. Is it appropriate to apply these mechanisms to this condition? Therefore, can we help this person? And we try to create a very linear thought process so that, you know, once you leave the course, you actually have, you know, the right concepts and the right thought process to really create your own plans and your own protocols. Obviously, we also consult with practices and we help build those over time with businesses as well. But at least you leave a course like this with what you wanted. You understand hyperbarics. You understand how it works, you understand why it works, you're able to calculate dosage, but more importantly, you're able to think through the mechanisms and to understand, am I applying hyperbarics safely? And am I applying hyperbarics appropriately for this patient, for this reason, with this health concern, or with this health goal? We finally took it to the International Board of Undersea Medicine. The International Board of Undersea Medicine has been certifying dive medicine, dive technicians, dive operators, clinical hyperbaric practitioners, clinical hyperbaric technicians, and they've been doing this for 25 years. And so I brought this curriculum to the International Board of Undersea Medicine, and between myself and the director, Joe DeTori, uh, we created what is now the 40-hour certification course for all functional medicine, natural healthcare providers. So even though this course is certified through the International Board of Undersea Medicine, it's really practical. Now I know like all these different things I can use it for, how to market, how to reach out, how to interface with people in my community, other doctors, other professionals to really boost this aspect of my business. Great course, I highly recommend it. This course was phenomenal from the functional medicine side. Now we can have practices, procedures, a lot of those in place. So when our patient base comes in looking for more inflammatory conditions, longevity, anti-aging, all that, we have more understanding and better procedures for that. I've been surprised at how deep they go into the basic science and some of the new pathways and signaling stuff. And that's been complemented uh, by really good hands-on work on the machines and the hard chambers, the soft chambers, and some of the nuances of those, as well as um, it will lead to a certification in hyperbaric oxygen as a potential provider. So I've talked to other practitioners like, yeah, I bought this chamber and it's sitting in my office and I use it for like one patient a week. And um, I'm like, that's not what it's there for. It's meant to help people in the community and to help those people 
you really need to know when to use it, how to use it, and you have to let the community know about it. This course has been so educational and full of so much information. I can't wait to get back home, get our first chamber, and start providing oxygen therapy, not only for our family, for myself, my wife continued therapy for her, but for our patient base. If you want to know any information about our upcoming courses, check out hbotusa.com. And uh, right across the, the top, you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are going to be.